So this video is going to be about my latest uh, guitars. The guitars that I bought, uh, you know, the last couple of months or so. It all started like, uh, I think, two or three months ago when I was thinking I would like to uh, buy a rare Fender Stratocaster well, the ones that I got isn't really rare, but kind of like a cool model, you know, with the ebony fretboard, comes with the original, the, the stock shoulder locking tuners, comes with the deluxe cutaway neck heel, comes with the electronics cavity on the back of the guitar, even though it's a pickguard. Um, comes with some heavy duty pickups. You know, it's a cool guitar. I actually think it's a cool guitar. But one thing that my first thought about this two months ago when I first get into this thinking of buying a Fender Stratocaster with the 70s headstock, you know, everything just the way I like it. Even though ebony is a very hard wood and makes a great sustain and everything, my first thought was actually to try to get in hold of kind of like a Jim Root signature Stratocaster but with a maple fretboard. So Jim Root has actually two signatures well actually two models one satin black and one kind of like cream uh, well yeah cream cream white or you know something like that the satin black one comes with ebony fretboard and I, I actually have three of them right now um, the uh, the cream one comes with maple fretboard and I know for sure that Fender have made a couple of these models because Fender have made a lot of strange things strange guitars that isn't really on the market they are out there somewhere I, I'm sure about it but it's nothing you can buy today it's exactly like the Fender Flathead uh, it's kind of like a rare guitar. Uh, it was available for a year or two, but it just disappeared. Uh, if you're searching on YouTube, <laughs> there is almost none of the Telecaster flatheads out there, uh, at least not on YouTube. So I know there is thousands of uh, Telecaster flatheads that was sold during the one or two years that the guitar actually was available but I can't get in hold of one of these I can't get one of these um, it's impossible um, I can only find like um, a couple of videos on YouTube with these Fender Telecaster flatheads it's a super rare guitar but at the same time it was a very common guitar um, five six seven years ago when when it first came out so um, it's exactly the same thing with this uh, kind of like uh, Jim Root signature satin black with maple maple neck and maple uh, fretboard uh, I know Fender put out maybe I'm not really sure, uh, 10, 20, 30 of these. Uh, there was no Jim Root signature on the back of the headstock. Um, there was a serial number, but not a Jim Root. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe maybe that's because uh, they was collaborating with, you know, Jim Root had all his thoughts about how... Um, how his Stratocaster signature guitar should be and I know Fender uh, elaborating with this kind of stuff as well so maybe that's when they 
put out these guitars. I would, I could do anything to get one of these guitars actually. Uh, I know for sure they are not very expensive either. Kind of like a, you know, a flathead maybe, like thousand um, bucks. The last choice I have is actually to make my own uh, Stratocaster, Type-ish, uh, Jim Root-ish, you know, Stratocaster. <laughs> but that will cost me like, if I'm going to buy the new stuff, 3000 bucks. I mean, wow, that's a lot of cash. That's including buying a satin black one and buying a white one, well, a cream one. And just swapping the neck on them. Putting the ebony fretboard neck on the cream one and putting the maple fretboard neck on the satin black one. Hmm. Maybe I could sell the, the cream one with the ebony fretboard. Or maybe I would like to keep it. But that's a hell of a bunch of money right there. It's at least 3000 bucks. I don't want to spend that kind of cash. But that's a solution. I mean, that will give me a super rare guitar uh, that I know that Fender actually has, has built. Um, something interesting about this that I actually have a contact uh, with a guy that actually have great knowledge about guitars. Uh, he knows people in the different Fender factories all around the world. Well, that would be America um, and Mexico. Uh, I don't know he knows any people in China. I know there is Fender uh, uh, classic, no, that's Squire. Uh, modern player is actually made in China, yeah. But the Mexican factory and the American factories, I know we has contacts there. So this guy knows all about the secret stuff. There is a lot of stuff I would like to know, but he refuses to tell me. So, But he told me that Fender actually put out a few of these models. Uh, the blue, uh, the blue Stratocaster that I have is actually a special model. Uh, also, a uh, a model that Fender put out um, about I think 10 of them actually with a serial, serial number uh, it comes with uh, Schaller locking tuners and everything just like the Jim Roots model but it's no Jim Roots signature on the back of the headstock and that's because Fender uh, elaborated with this type of guitar and Jim Root did as well uh, so there is a lot of strange things going on there um, anyway uh, I will continue searching for some more time for uh, this uh, Jim Root lost <laughs> Jim Root uh, uh, elaborating guitar uh, set in black with a maple fretboard I will actually do that um, so if you guys know anything about this, well, maybe you don't know anything about this, but if you perhaps have a Fender Telecaster flathead or a Jim Root signature with a satin black body and a maple neck with a maple fretboard, you should contact me immediately because I'll buy your guitar. Well. If the, if the price is right, that is. So yeah, that's my thought about kind of like the guitar that I would like to have right now. And a uh, couple of months since I started thinking about this. So yeah, there you go. Uh, take care now. Bye bye then.